What's good? What's cracking? It's a bathroom moment. Bathroom moment because my kid's still in class. But it's your girl, Squeeze Jones, aka Killer Queen T, aka Blackout Queen. Ooh, ooh. This video, don't watch this video. Click. Actually, let me show you where you need to go the door. Because I'm about to be nosy. I'm about to be messy. I'm about to start asking questions. I'm about to get deep into somebody else's life. And you're going to be like, dang, bitch. Why are you all invested in her life like that? I don't know. I don't know. A long time ago, I was like, damn, Tequise. I love writing. It, to write something only takes me less than 15 minutes. So to be, to invest in somebody's life, it literally takes me 15 minutes. So do not worry. Do not be like, oh, did she put deep thought in this? Nope. 15 minutes is all it took. And that was done. So, and this one actually got me a good amount of pages. Okay. So we got pretty girl chance. And my question to her was, every time you meet a new guy and you do a video with your ex, the new guy is this pimp. Is, this, is that because they can tell that your ex will win your heart every time? Like, literally, think about it. <coughs> now, once I went through all of her videos, I answered the question. I was able to come to the conclusion answer myself. Like, no, not every time DC come back in the picture, do they leave? But, but, it gets a little fishy. It gets a little weird. It looks a little weird, and then all of a sudden, one of them is gone. Last time, Tori didn't win. You know, she went on that trip with BC. She came back. He was in his little feelings. Because remember, he tried to start his own entertainment. But I'm, I'm jumping ahead of myself. Jump, 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 jump. Jumping ahead of myself. So, her name is... Oh, my God. My bad, y'all. <laughs> okay, she been on YouTube for two years. Now, y'all might remember her cause for being part of the tube house. Okay, she got to heaven, but that's not what we're here for. We're not here to investigate her talent, see, because she, she multi-talent. But we're not here for that. We are here to be nosy about her love life. Okay, so now remember, she was with the tube house, and that's how she ended up in D.C., so, nine months ago, she made her first video with DC. With Carmen and Fruit, prank them. But same thing. Then, her and DC started doing videos together. Then she said she liked it him. Boom. She said, then they started pranking each other. He rated her outfits. Then the fans wanted them that. I think this is actually... When it became a problem, more more and more likely with these YouTubers, it become a problem because they be all up there. They be trying to get the fans what they want. They be trying to get the fans what they want. Like I'm gonna get the fans what they want, and then the fans be like, hey, "Yeah, we want. Oh my god, y'all gonna make cute ass babies. Oh my god, I can see this now. I can, I can see it now. Oh my god, you two are perfect together. These thirty minutes." And then my mad, I'm thinking that's starting to cuss, but still, we out here like, oh my god, perfect couple, relationship goes, oh my god, <laughs> I can see them getting married and having babies, and I'm, and that probably at home, like, oh my god, these bitches really planning our future, and we over here like, yes, but then they did a prank, they did, they did a pregnant, then she did a, then she did a video where she was pregnant, with DC baby. Or maybe I'm just jumping to conclusions. You tell me. Then Chance went on a blind date. I don't remember who was with. Go watch the video. Then they start. If you ask me. They start moving too fast. Because you went from. Y'all went from like. Let's be cool. Let's. I like you videos to. Shit. Let's. Um. I was like. Maybe it was to prank the fans. You know. Maybe it was. To, maybe it was. To, it was to get the fans what they want. While pranking them all at the same time, they did they did move in pranks and spend the night pranks. This is before any. This was when um, DC and they. I think they was both staying with Carmen at the time, so they was you know moving into the wrong pranks and 
and spend the night in the room prank and and and, and 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 they wasn't having sex at this time. So, you know, everybody everybody right now is getting, you know, light blue balls, you know. Not really blue balls, but light blue balls. Then she started calling him boyfriend. And if you think about it, this is the this is the only time that she has referred to one of the guys as boyfriend status. This is the only time that she would use the word boyfriend. That's what they see. Maybe I'm overdoing it. Maybe, maybe twist. But you know, you the word boyfriend, it, it be like it be like plagging. It be like flagging. Everybody use that motherfucker on YouTube. So you know it gets views. So the fact that she only used it with DC and everybody else after that was like a crush, an entanglement, a bay. Let's keep going. <laughs> like, like, let's keep going. Again, I believe it was for the fans. Since the fans, fans was kept at this point. It was like shit. The, the fan, all the comments was like, "Oh my god, y'all could be a cute couple. Oh my god, cute ass babies. Oh my god, I love y'all chemistry. Oh my god, y'all is fucking hilarious together. Forcing them together. Then you know they start doing the little lost chain pranks." They really go to go to her page, check it out. They did some good ass, they had some raw ass price. She was funny. While the fans loved them together, they didn't like how she talked to DC. Like, oh, true, the fans thought they would be a perfect couple, but then you had a whole lot of fans that was like, oh my god, why is she, why is she always, why is she so aggressive? Why is she so loud? Why is she gotta hit him all the damn time? Like, why there was. The positive fans, you also had your negative Nancy's over there. I was like, oh my god, y'all don't need to be together. I feel like y'all moved in, y'all moved into a relationship too fast. Y'all don't hardly know each other. Just because she says she like you, don't mean y'all got a date. So yeah, but at the end of the day, I think that was a little DC fans that was a little jealous because DC is cute. So when bitches start hearing, start hearing that you know him and um, Chaz might actually be rocking, we weren't rocking with that. Like no bitch, like no DC. That's not the girl for you. What are you? What are you doing? You said you wouldn't date. What? What are you doing, DC? You supposed to be single. How the fuck? No, no. And DC was like, okay, I'm, I'm all off topic. Okay. DC left, so she did a missing him video. And the video when he came back, so we knew it was real. Okay. Did we know it was real? I'm not. Then the day went wrong. Oh, so they said. Was that, was that day with DC? Not sure. DC bought her a gift. Like, I watched all her videos, but it's been a minute since I watched these videos, so I can't really tell you because I'm not that invested in them. DC bought her a gift. So we would know he liked her too, and it wasn't one sided. Then they started keeping stuff from each other. And I, I said that because she posted, you know. The titles of videos are everything. And then she posted a video like, oh, I'm keeping it from him. I don't know what she, I can't remember exactly what she kept from him. But, you know, communication is key. And when communication becomes broken, then it becomes a problem. And I think that's what it was. Like, at this point, you know, like I said, you got fans saying, hey, be together. Then you got fans saying, no. So, then they had a spa night. And then if you ask me, I want to know, did they just talk or did they enjoy it? Did they just enjoy each other's company? Like, we're not even finna, we're not even finna try to deal with the bullshit that's going on. It's just going to be a you, me moment and a camera, you know, for the fans. <laughs> then they started doing sex pranks and cheating pranks. If you ask me, that's not good. Because nobody, nobody was climaxing and everybody was getting blue balls. These ain't, these, you gotta remember, these ain't little ass kids we talking about. These ain't little ass kids doing sex pranks and, and, and you wanna top me up pranks. These is grown ass people do a sex prank and you wanna top me up and then you gotta remember, we don't know if they really, well, we gonna assume that they wasn't having sex after these pranks. So you got one, motherfuckers walking around with blue balls and shit, cool girls walking around and getting extra aggressive because when chicks don't have sex, they become an extra aggressive. They like, because <sighs> they, 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 they just look like they angry for no fucking reason. But it's because they ain't had sex in a while. Bagged up. 
Then they went on a, a real date. Not sure. Could have been a fan prank. I'm, I'm. That's my thing. You know, sometimes with these, with these, when they, when YouTubers become, when they just go, when they go into the prank field, you don't. After a while, you start doubting everything about the damn channel. You're like, okay, is this a prank? Is it real? Is it a prank? Is it real? Is it a prank? Is it real? Is it a prank or is it real? Is it a prank? Is it real? Is it real? Is it a prank? Is it real? Did you not mean? Did you not mean? Oh, okay, we're not. Did you not want us? Did you not want us to question it this hard? No. Did you question? I have a question. Hey. No. Okay. Okay. I'm not. I. I feel like we shouldn't be asking questions. Then they went on a real date. Not sure. Could have been. Could have been a friend. Friend. Then they start calling each other pet names like Bay, Future Hubby, Wifey. We was here for those videos. We was like, oh. and the sad that was for it was like, oh my god, they're falling in love with each other more and more every day. Oh my god, this is perfect. I love it. I'm here for it. Couple goals. And the motherfuckers that weren't here for it was like, she she using him for clout. She using him for clout. She trying to come up off his name. Like, she don't even really like him. You see how she talked to him? You see, did you see how she yelled at him? She slapped him. Oh my god! He needs to leave her. Then she let him see her without a wig. But then the argument became an everyday thing. And like I said, I felt like they was probably feeling like they was moving too fast at this point of their life. Then they started doing breakup pranks. You doing breakup pranks. So so so, so think about it. Y'all doing breakup pranks. Before y'all even had sex. Y'all ain't even had sex. The nigga ain't even climax. So in his head he probably thinking damn. I don't even know what the coochie like. But I do know. What would happen after I gave her the coochie. This arguing. And this back and forth tit for tat that we doing. It ain't going to do nothing but get worse. So, nine times out of ten, because like I said, but at this point, we doing breakup pranks, we doing sex pranks, we doing cheating pranks, and it's like, okay. It's like, it's like, it's like, it's like you, it's like you take your relationship and you put it in a state where you are, where you fast forward shit. That's what happened. That's what happened. Because you also got to remember, like, after after certain shit, motherfuckers sit down and they think. They deep think shit. So, nine times out of ten, they sit down after these pranks and they deep thinking shit. So, nine times out of ten, nine times out of ten, they never really worked out because they deep thought they self out of the relationship. I'm telling y'all. Like... DC over everything and like, damn, if we really had kids and the fact that she always blowing up on me like this and then she over everything like, damn, I really didn't like how he handled this in this situation. So now they deep, they like, they like putting a relationship in a, in a bottle and they shaking it up and they looking at it like, damn, this is not looking pleasing to drink. So then... DC saw her naked, still didn't get to climax. So this stage we got green balls and she a tease. I love you, Chaz, but at this point you 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 was a tease. This is before. This is all before she even got the apartment. All this is popping off before they got the she got the apartment. So within two months, they somehow made this relationship. If you sit down and think about it, they somehow made it seem like they had been in a relationship for several motherfucking years and they had went through the, the holding hands, cuddling each other and loving each other and and went through the, oh, let's, oh my God, let's try to work it out. And now they was at the stage of everything the other person did aggravated them even though they didn't want to leave. Now they're just aggressive as hell with each other. And you're like, dang, talk about mind trip. That's how the fuck that's all the fuck that was. It was a mind trip and they brushed that shit. It's like, it's like, it's like you, it's like, it's like you feel like it's going slow, but at the same time, when you sit down and think about it, it's going So then DC saw, okay, she got an apartment, DC came over. She pranked us by saying she might be pregnant. I'm not gonna lie. We was like, you and DC gonna have a sex. 
takes me, you know, to be pregnant, it means somebody ejaculated inside of you, and that means you had sex, unless that changed. But then I remember, like, maybe she trying to, like, make her audience be like, maybe she think her audience is just, like, teeny tots. So they don't really know how sex work. Then they stopped making videos. So I say about for two months, she didn't make a video with DC. She didn't make a video at all. She didn't post. She was sitting up in her room, sitting at home, in her room, crying. DC don't want to be with me. DC don't want to be with me. He think that we should take a break. Where, 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 where? DC don't want to be with me. Where, where? Okay, I know y'all. Enough crying. Okay. And then she made an update apartment video. Now, imagine she been off two months and we was over here wearing like, oh my God, is Chaz going to be back? Will she make another YouTube video? Is this the end of Pretty Girl Chaz? And then, no, it wasn't. She started, she started, she introduced, she did an update apartment video and introduced Tori Lyons. She made him breakfast. Then they started with, with let's make a baby pranks. And sex prank on friends. Closed doors. Act like they was freaking. And the friends outside like, oh my god, y'all just became friends. How y'all having sex already? How? Girl, what you doing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then she showed us she had pipes. Because, you know, she sung to him. She was like, Tori, baby. I'm going to sing to you. Give you what you need. Show my boob to you. Left cheek to you. Ooh, ooh. Okay, so she showed she had pipes. Then she made a video letting the fans know that she didn't move on too fast, you know. Her and DC was never really together. They was never really a couple. They never made it official. Then her sister moved in. I don't know why I told y'all that. I just want y'all to know. Her sister was K. Her sister popped up. Then her and DC made a video together. Now, nah, because manage you, I said, I, I added her and DC made a video together because they hadn't been making videos together. At this point, she was making videos with Tori and her sister and a lot of other people, but not DC. Okay. So then her and DC made a video together. And right after she made that video with DC, she did a video with Tori. And then after she did that video with Tori, because... If, if I'm not mistaken, I might be reaching. I might be lying. I might be making up shit. But at, if I'm not mistaken, after that video she made with Tori, then she went on um, a trip with DC. And then I'm not even going to start. I kind of fell off because I, I, I still watch her, but I was I really wanted her to be with DC. I'm like, her and Tori made one more video together, did nothing. And then I added, he didn't leave. Her and Tori built a baby together. But she had Scooby with DC. Because if y'all remember, she went and got she went and got Scooby from DC because she said he wasn't being a good baby. But then she got a baby, she got a video where Tori and her go have from the baby at Build the Bell workshop. So DC so so right now she got a baby bear by Tori. And she got Scooby by DC. Did she make did she make a baby with Dino? And they got into an entanglement. They were good together. But I'm on start. I'm still working for DC over here. You know. I'm I'm always be a DC fan for her. I'm always be like, ooh girl, Chaz, you know who you be, be good with? She gonna be like, yeah, girl, who I'm gonna be good with? Mm -mm, don't you say DC? And I'll be like, okay, well, the door. Cause I have I I she knows what I want. She knows what I want. She knows what I want. She started calling him Crutch. Crush. Mm. But then, like I said, she went on a road trip with the sister in DC and some other people. Um, I believe Tori tried to start another entanglement because he was hurt. I'm not really sure. Uh, but she didn't actually stop doing videos with Tori. 
she was doing videos with DC and because at this point she was doing videos with DC and Tori. Oh, Tori and them, the last video, I mean, DC and her, the last video they did together was them saying that they were still going to be friends and that, you know, they they felt like the relationship was moving too fast and they wanted to give each other a break. Chance cried, so I didn't believe that they was actually going to keep doing videos with each other. So, they didn't do videos together for two months. If anybody gives a fuck. They didn't do videos for two months. I remember, because I was like, damn, damn, Chance, you, you hurt, you hurt, hurt. You hurt her? You hurt her chance. And then I was happy she came back, even though that didn't mean that didn't that didn't mean that she wasn't hurt her from DC breaking up. But then they be then I felt like they had they had conversations and the and, and, and the meanwhile and they was able to work it out and they became friends. But then, like I said, her and Tori, then her and TDC went on a road trip and then she DC came back. And they were still doing video. Her turn still doing videos. You could tell something was off. Mm. Where am I? Oh, I'm right here. Big pimping. Big pimping. Um, did Tori was Tori talking on the phone? Because she she made a video about a situation. I like I said, this these videos are a long time ago. I watched them then. I'm not really a, a, you know like oh my god. I wasn't invested like oh my goodness. I still remember. Okay, but then she started making videos with Dino. Now my okay. She started making videos with Dino, and then her and Tori met up to talk about why they wasn't cool no more, and then they so they could start making videos again. And then after that, she started making kinky videos with Dino and sex pranks with Tori. Then she made an official. She made it. She made a video making it seem like she made an official with Dino. Dino, but I thought that was an entanglement, but turned out it wasn't an entanglement because not. As long after that, it was a video for her asking for entanglement, and he said no. And then she asked Dino for a baby. I don't know if he gave her a baby, considering that um, the other two did. But then, because you know, DC is back in the picture, so now you got DC, Dino, and Tori. Because Tori ain't went, ain't no one. And when y'all know what, even though Tori claiming to have a girlfriend at this point, so we, yeah, that's probably gonna be my next video. We're gonna go ahead and go ahead and, and, and hop down and see what's going on with Tori because you know he done popped up with a lot of a lot of friends and a lot of uh lovers and a lot of uh people from the past, and we just over here refused. Like, Tori, ain't nothing been going right for you since you just. Since you and Chaz decided to end that entanglement. But, uh, but the, this video is because her and Dino haven't posted since she got back. I can't remember which one she got back with. But it don't matter. Her and Dino ain't posted in a minute. They did. They did a, the, the video before the question video. Before we get to questioning, folks. Because, okay, she did a Miss You video for Dino. So my question was like, why Tori never got a Miss You video? Because Tori didn't stay where she was at. DC literally stayed in the same fucking house with her. Like, they wasn't in the same, like, like they wasn't in the same room. But they was in the same fucking mansion together. And yet, he still got a Miss You video. And, and Dino got a Miss You video. So why Tori never got one? Or maybe he just was worth it. I don't know. And then, her, like I said, her Dion called the courts. That's the video title. I, that's the only video title I gave y'all. Then they did one more video. And we gonna end this on Watch Her Chaz Try Series. And in her new video, we does she got a new lover? Do she got a new male friend? Now, I know, I know. I just made this video for no reason. My kid... Said my door stalking me. Um, I'm, uh, my class is over now. But peace. Okay, that's what you want y'all to know. And I'm in the bathroom with the door closed, trying to be nosy, hoping somebody, you know, answer my questions. But if they don't, and if you, the fan, 
just want to give me the answers because it's not like I really care. I'm not going to like die if I don't get the answers to the questions, but I'm curious, you know, and I know somebody's out there. It's like curiosity killed the cat, but I'm pretty sure before the curiosity killed the cat, the cat found out the fucking answers. So leave a like a comment and, um, don't subscribe because this ain't even about me on my channel.